Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, we're gonna do an unboxing today. Um, maybe in the thumbnail you already saw what it was, but uh, I thought, uh, yeah, how about we we unbox this package from Amazon? What is this thing here on here? What well, I don't even know what this is. It looks like it's a pencil sharpener. What is this? Is that a computer? What is it? EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. That's not what's in this box. But here, let me go like this so we can create a thumbnail. Whoa! <laughs> what's in this thing? Oh my goodness. Should I point to it? Whoa! Look! Look in here! What is it? What's inside this? Let's actually find out. What was I looking at? Was I looking at the... Whoa! Hello! Amazon box, what could it be? Three, three, uh, what do we got? Three sides here, should I show it like that? What, what the heck? What's in here? Oh, okay, enough of that. So, just sometimes you gotta create the thumbnail. Actually, there's a couple things in here. There's some stuff for my kids, but also something for me. I think a lot of people got this today. I was hoping mine would come sooner. I saw some other people got theirs a little early. Um, I actually, well, you'll find out in tomorrow's video. Okay, so here's the stuff for my kids. <laughs> Just like little pom-poms, uh, you know, little craft thing. That has nothing to do with, with this, with what I am here for. This is... Oh, what is this? It's Bringing Out the Dead, a Martin Scorsese movie starring Nicolas Cage. Yeah, this uh, movie here, I believe it came out, yep, 99, right there, came out in 1999. And I'm trying to think, when when did um, Office Space come out? What year was that? Was that also a 99er or, or a little bit earlier? I was thinking earlier, but I think it was a 99er, which is interesting because I was telling the story about how I first saw Office Space with a friend of mine and I think I was like either sleeping over at his house or um, we, we did a lot of projects together in junior high and high school so I might have been over there working on a project for uh, school and he showed me Office Space and I think he also showed me this movie. He either showed me this movie or um, uh, or I rented this. I feel like I have two memories of this movie. One, and maybe I did both. Watched it at his place and then also rented it from Family Video. But anyway, yeah, this is uh, part of the Paramount Presents collection, which is really cool because it has like a fold out of like uh, the original... Um, uh, the original poster, which is awesome. I love this movie because John Goodman is in it, one of my favorite actors of all time. Uh, Sizemore is in it. Uh, Ving Rhames is in it. And I think this movie is really cool because we have Nicolas Cage as our lead, but then the side characters, um, the, uh, the, the supporting characters sort of like rotate throughout. Um, they don't like... like I don't. I, I mean, it's been a while since I've seen this, but I don't remember them like coming back in. But it's just like they get traded out in a way, which I thought was really cool. Also, Scorsese has a cool cameo in this if you listen closely. Uh, but yeah, it's been a while. But this one made an impression, and um, you know, I think I used to say just to be a little avant-garde and different that this was my favorite Scorsese film. I'd still probably put it up there pretty high. I don't know if I would say it's my favorite anymore. Um, but I don't know, maybe upon rewatch, it will be. It'll be back up there, number one. Because right now, I think it's probably Goodfellas. You know, tough to deny. Actually, we should check this, make sure there's no issues here and make sure a box cutter didn't get to it doesn't look like it this is looking sharp and pristine nicholas cage bringing out the dead have i even said the title yet this is bringing out the dead okay we're gonna open it we're gonna do an unboxing over there and an unboxing or an unwrapping right here as well if i could just get 
this cover off. There we go. And here, this is the fun part. I'm going to get the first look. Yeah. I dig that. Okay, here we go. Check it out. Yeah. Awesome. That is great. Look at that. Um, also, paramedics. Uh, my uncle was a paramedic for many, many, many years. So that's kind of cool. Um, actually, uh, one of my cousins is uh, as well, but a flight version. So not in an ambulance, but a helicopter. Um, and then another one of my cousins is gonna going going to become a paramedic. Wow, and this, this is an anniversary of Dish here because it says 25 years ago, so it's pointing that out. Uh, legendary director Martin Scorsese from Killers of the Flower Moon. Okay, promotion. <laughs> like, what? That's not the one we remember him for, but I get what they're doing. Uh, Reteamed with screenwriter Paul Schrader, taxi driver Raging Bull, for one of the most compelling gems of their storied careers, Bringing Out the Dead, Nicolas Cage is Frank Pierce, a paramedic on the brink of madness. Patricia Arquette is the daughter of a man Frank tried to save. Together they'll need to confront the ghosts of the past to discover redemption among the living. And so on and so on and so on. I will let you uh, watch the film um, so that you can learn more. So this has some special features here. Check out the specs. Whoa, 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 movie slide down. Can you read that? Probably not, it has kind of like a, yeah, sorry about that. It has like a, just a shiny quality to it. Like this looks like, this is like a mirror right here. See that with the title? And that's, that's all the way around. It, that sort of metallic look is all the way around. But it has a uh, filmmaker focus on Martin Scorsese, Martin Scorsese on Bringing Out the Dead, uh, a rumination on Salvation, Nicolas Cage on Bringing Out the Dead. Awesome. This is new. Both of these are new. This is new also. Cemetery Streets, Paul Schrader on Bringing Out the Dead, uh, City of Ghosts. This is new. Cinematographer, uh, Robert Richardson on Bringing Out the Dead. This is awesome. On set with Patricia Arquette. On set with, with John Goodman. Awesome. On set with Sizemore. On set with Mark Anthony. He's in this? <laughs> on set with Ving Rhames. Awesome. This is so cool. Um, man, I haven't watched this in forever. Okay, and then we pull this out here, and it looks like we got the same thing. Uh, the back, a little different, because this one has images. This one does not. And then I think we should get inside this one, too. We're just opening everything. Opening everything. Everything. All right. We're getting in here. That clear box. Love that. That clear case. Yes. Oh, man. I love this. So here, the image has that metallic quality here. It's not. It's matte. And it does have a, a really cool look to it. I almost like it better like this. Something strange and odd about it. But let's open this up. All right. Let me move this code over here. Um... Ah, oh, man, it's telling me I gotta get Primal Fear on this. I really do. I need to, I, I don't know, I really wanna see that. But check this out. We got some cool disc art right here. Just some stills from the films. Films, film, sorry. Stills from the film right here. Looks sharp. Man, Nicolas Cage is great. Nicolas Cage is great. He's made so many great films. Granted, not every film. Oh is great but he has made some amazing ones all right so let's check this out very nice look at him he's got a stethoscope in his ears listening in on the walls what does it say Ooh, ooh, something right here uh from martin scorsese let's read it i had imagined the film oh this is going to be difficult to read I really need to get some glasses here. I had imagined the film seen through the eyes of Frank to create a kind of impression of what his world is like and how he perceives the world. World, world, world. Mark Anthony. Yeah, this is cool. All right, I am so hyped to watch this. Um, you know, it's not a horror film, but I feel like maybe this could be something to watch around Halloween season, just the nature of it. 
the dead, you know, all of that. I don't know. I, I just feel like something about all of that feels like it could fit. Did I put this on the correct side? Is this how it was before, or did I flip these? I don't know. I might have flipped them. Is that how it was? I don't know. But anyway, I'm very hyped about this. Okay, I guess I did find one tiny issue. It looks like not a big deal, though, but do you see that? Maybe I did that right there. Do you see that little ripple? Was that already there? Did I do that? I don't think so. Maybe I did. How else would it have happened? Not a big deal, though. That's okay. I'm okay with that. It's okay. It's okay. I'm telling myself it's okay. Um, but yeah. Man, I can't wait to watch this again. Very great film that I have not seen in a long time. Came out in 99, one of the greatest years in cinema history. Who's with me? All right, so have you seen Bringing Out the Dead? When was the last time you saw it? Because it's been a while for me, but it made an impact. Uh, really did enjoy it. Um, so yeah, now I'm feeling like maybe I watched it with my mom. Not in theaters, but like as the rental. I feel like that's my stronger memory than my friend, but maybe I remember my friend talking about it or something. I don't know, because I, I, I just, now I'm, I can almost, I can see, see the VHS rental case and watching, I feel like I watched that one with my mom. I don't know. Uh, regardless, good movie, even though it's been a while, I still have faith that it holds up. I'd love to know what you think of Bringing Out the Dead and if you have seen it or if you want to see it or if you don't want to see it. I would love to know. Let me know in the comments below and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.